cars these days see all around them. Other cars, the edge of the road, traffic signs, even the chance of collision before it happens. But somehow, amidst all this technology, we haven't figured out how to help every human in that same car see what's out there too. People that are sighted have constant input. Like I don't know what I'm missing until I know what I'm missing. I don't ask, I don't. I knew I was missing out, but I didn't want to inconvenience other people. I feel the movement of the car, but I certainly don't get much uh, about what's outside the car. So I'm sort of a captive there. Sometimes when I'm in the car with friends, I do feel lonely. It's a very uh, isolating experience. People with disabilities are the world's largest minority, the only minority group anybody can join at any moment in their lives. And the reality is, if we're all lucky enough to grow into old age, we're all going to join the community at some point. The app is really a combination of a number of different artificial intelligences working together, and then a number of different data sets working together. We use things like computer vision to actually see what's out there, and then generative AI to then describe it in a way that's kind of meaningful. And Added to that are all of these data sets that provide much more context. So th things like the weather that's outside, the traffic, what direction that you're going, and then points of interest along the way that might help us describe things in a much more interesting way. When I first heard about it, I was like, okay, well, that's a cool story, bro, but why? And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, wait, I can get in a car and get the same information as a sighted person. That's a really cool idea. As we cruise down Pine Street, our gaze falls upon a sandy shore. Peaceful waves ripple gently, and distant figures stroll along the water's edge, enjoying the serene maritime vibe of Vineyard Haven. While ahead of us, the partly cloudy sky melts with the ocean's edge, leaving us eager for the views that await. Struck by the iconic green and white facade, the towering red brick walls adorned with banners of legendary ballplayers. It's an overcast day, and the rain adds a slick sheen to the brick sidewalk. A rainbow arches faintly, giving a splash of magic Ooh. to this quaint town tableau. Ooh. Love rainbows. It's not about wayfinding. It's not about telling somebody when the next exit is on the road. It's about sharing the experience of being on the road. Anytime we can create an equitable experience and foster independence, it's a good day here at Perkins. This app really is more about storytelling and about this uh, narrative versus just making it about functional. And that's really the inspiration of the power of dreams. The idea of being able to sit in a car and enjoy the scenery around me is novel. Weathered shingles tell tales of salty air and sea sprays, their presence and homage to New England charm. As we approach the ferry at Woods Hole, its white lighthouse stands sentinel against the gray sky. It's a lot to pull together, but when it's all together, it's like, holy crap. The impression of a space in transition, waiting for its next purpose. That's cool. We catch glimpses of greenery, 